What's going on, Sumolings? Thank you so much for joining us for another product walkthrough webinar. I am Lindsay, and today I am joined by the team over at Promotix. Promotix is an event ticketing platform that helps event organizers grow their bottom line through uh, fee-free ticketing, marketing tools, live streaming, and more. It is starting on AppSumo at $69 for a lifetime deal. Before we dive into the walkthrough, I just want to tell you all a few quick things. The first is uh, that if you want to tell us a little bit about your use case, why you're interested in this tool, you can go ahead and do that in the chat room. We love to hear it. Uh, second thing, if you have any questions about the tool, the deal, how to get set up, you can go ahead and leave your questions in the Q&A box. We do have Will and Amanda from the Promotix team here to answer those questions as they come in. Um, but if you're watching this in the replay, uh, we will be circling back to the questions at the end of the walkthrough. Um, and yeah, the last thing is that there will be a replay of this available. So if you need to step out, you totally can. If you just want to watch this later, you could do that as well. All right, that's it for me. Hey, Sebastian, how are you doing? Hey, Lindsay, I'm doing good. How are you? I'm doing very well. It's great to have you here. I'm excited to dive into this tool. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pass this over to you for the walkthrough. Let me know when you want to take questions. Sounds good. Have Start fun. sharing my screen. Make sure that that's looks good. Looking all right. Awesome. Yep. Thanks, Lindsay. Hey, Sumo Links. Um, my name is Sebastian. I'm the VP of Client Success at Promotex. So I work with all of our clients and make sure that they're successful on the platform. And uh, we launched our deal on Monday and we've had a ton of great questions, a lot of signups. So it's been really exciting. And um, this has been my baby for the past five years. So I'm really excited and honored to be able to show you guys what we have to offer. So yeah, I'll, I'll jump into it. And um, so I guess I'll give a brief intro. You know, Lindsay mentioned that we are a ticketing, marketing, and streaming platform. So we're, we're a lot more than your average ticketing company. We've hosted events ourselves. We know that it takes a, a lot more than ticketing to make sure that events are successful. So our goal here is to provide you know, really valuable marketing tools, streaming tools, try to be you know, all in one, give you everything that you need uh, from beginning to end to host a successful event. So with that out of the way, I'll actually jump into um, the tool right here. And what I'll do is I'll start with ticketing because that's the most foundational, uh, you know, that's the first feature that you'll use when you sign up. So I'll jump into that right here. So this is the Promotix dashboard. This is the very first screen that you'll see when you log in and it has all of your events here listed out. And before I dive into one, I'm gonna go over this sidebar navigation. And uh, the reason why is because it gives a high level overview of everything that we offer in the platform. And it's broken up into three different sections here. The top section, this is ticketing. So it's the most foundational uh, feature that you'll be using the very first thing. And then below that, we have our marketing tools. So once your event is live and you're trying to sell more tickets, uh, then you'll be diving into these tools and we offer some really cool features here. Um, and then finally under here, we have our built-in live streaming solution, which I'll get into a little bit more later. So that's a high level overview of what we offer. So the first thing I'll do is I'll jump into one of these events and I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up your very first event on Promotix. So what I'll do, instead of creating a brand new event, I'm going to edit this one just because it already has everything filled out. So you can kind of you know, envision what your first event might look like once it's finished. It's a four step process here. Um, the first step is the event details. So really the basic information about your event, uh, the event name, description, any images you want to upload. You can tag your performers, which you know could be artists, musicians, it could be speakers, you know, if you're holding a business conference type event as well. So all the basic um, details about your event. And then the next step, when and where it's taking place. So we have four different options for different uh, types of events that you can create on Promotix. The first one is a traditional in-person event where all the attendees will be showing up and getting their ticket scanned at the door. And then we also have 
promo stream secured. So this is our built-in live streaming solution that we offer for completely virtual events. We also have in-person with promo stream. So that's a combination. Uh, for example, if you have you know, people meeting in person, but then you, know, you can also op offer a live streamed option for anyone who isn't able to attend in person. And then finally, we have, um, due to demand, we added an unsecured streaming option. And that's for if you want to use a different streaming solution other than the one we offer. So if you'd like to use uh, Zoom or, you know, for example, Facebook Live or something like that, um, you can do that. And you can also sell tickets through our platform and send people um, to watch the stream on there. So those are the four different event types that we have and I've set up an in-person and virtual event for this example. So I've added the venue here and then as well as the uh, dates and times for the in-person event. And then if you're also planning on live streaming at a, at a different time, then you can set that as well, which is what I've done here. Save and continue. Uh, this step right here, create tickets. So this is where you add all of the different ticket types for your event. I have general admission, VIP, uh, an upgraded option. And then you'll see this as virtual ticket title. So this is the live streamed option um, that I'm offering as well for the event. And then the next screen, this is where you can add a tax if you need to. Uh, refund policy, support email for ticket buyers. So on the landing page that we create, there's an ask a question button. And then you know, anyone who clicks that, it'll prompt them to send an email to whatever email address you put in here. So it's a way for your attendees to reach you. And then finally, uh, getting paid for your ticket sales is very important. So right now we exclusively partner with Stripe. We are uh, actually working on adding a few more credit card processors. So this is where you would connect your Stripe account and then we facilitate all the transactions so that you get paid out directly through Stripe for your ticket sales. And then we're at the last screen, customize checkout. So here you can customize the time limit to purchase if you'd like. And then also you can customize the information that you'd like to collect from your attendees. So we have all of these different fields here that you can uh, select from, and you have the flexibility to uh, decide what you want to collect when someone is uh, purchasing a ticket from you. Oops, there we go. So that's it. So that's you know the four steps for launching an event. And I'll show you what the event page looks like right here. So this is an example, uh, the one I was showing you. This is the event page, what it looks like. I have the venue here on a map, the description for the event, as well as here's the ask a question button, as well as the buy tickets button for people to uh, purchase. So yeah, really simple to set up the event, get it launched. And now what I'll jump into is after you've published your event, and you're monitoring the orders that are coming in and all the different tasks that take place um, after that. So the first step is to monitor the orders. So we have a dashboard here that shows a graph with all of the different channels that your sales are coming in through. We have an orders tab here where of course you can track all of the different orders and we have a couple different options. You can transfer tickets if you need to edit the order details, issue refunds. So any of those customer service oriented tasks, you would take care of all of those through the orders tab right here. And then moving on, we have discount codes and I'll show you the screen where you'd create one. We have all these different options. If you're looking to run a sale, 10% off, 20% off, you know, whatever the sale may be. We have all of these different options to pretty much set up any discount uh, that you'd like to offer. And then we have the sell tickets tab. So this is our POS system. Um, it's typically used by your staff. 
um, let's say, you know, at the event, you know, people are coming to the event and some people don't have tickets and they need to purchase them right then and there. Um, that's why we have a POS system built into the app that you can access on the web. And it's the exact same as the, uh, the buy tickets process that attendees go through. Um, the difference is at the end, instead of just having the ability to uh, pay with credit card, you also have the ability to pay with cash as well. So you could have, you know, a staff member at the front of the event taking care of all of those attendees who need tickets using that. And then the guest list tab, if you have, you know, free complimentary tickets that you want to send out, you can create as many different guest lists as you want to stay organized. You can see here, I have a list for vendors. I have a list for sponsors and ambassadors, which I'll get into a little bit later. But with this tab, you can create the lists and then adding a guest is very simple. You just um, add their name, email, select whichever tickets you'd like to send to them. And then you can save that and send them the tickets right away. So it completely skips the whole registration side of things and uh, gets them the tickets immediately. And then we have the check-in tab. So similar to the sell tickets tab at the event, um, you need a way to be able to check in attendees. And with this check-in tab, you can search up orders by name, email, um, that different type of information. And then you also have a button here to check in tickets on the web. So this is where I like to introduce that we also have a mobile app available. It's called the Promo Suite Organizer mobile app. It's available on iOS and Android. It's free to download for your team. And what you can do with that app, is I'll switch over here. Here it is. So it has many of the same features that I just showed you. The dashboard so you can monitor sales on the go orders, sell tickets, guest list, and then also the check-in tab. So what's unique about the check-in tab on the mobile app is in addition to being able to search orders and check them in manually, we also have this ticket scanning option. So if I tap this, it activates the camera. And then let's say, you know, this is a ticket right here that someone is bringing to the event scan the barcode, picks it up immediately, and then it says ticket checked in. If a ticket has already been scanned, it'll say, hey, this ticket was already used. This is when it was checked in, the date and time. So you can see that. And then if it's an invalid barcode, it'll say, hey, you know, this ticket is invalid for the event. So if you have a staff member, you know, they can have a tablet they could even have their smartphone and they can be completely managing, checking in all of the attendees. So yeah, that's the mobile app. And then I'll jump back to the web here. There's a couple more tabs that we have on the web that aren't available on the mobile app. The first one being the reports tab. So we have different reports that you can run and download. So we have a sales report. We also have an attendee report you can see all the different individual tickets as well as a sales by ticket type report which gives you a high level overview of all the different ticket types you have how many you've sold how many you've refunded so on and so forth and for any of these reports you can download them via csv by clicking that button so then you have all the information you collected the emails phone numbers names all of that you can get simply by clicking that button. And then finally, the additional settings tab. So here we have a couple of pretty cool features. The first one being embed checkout. So with this code, you can copy that and paste it onto your website. Uh, works with any content management system, um, you know, WordPress, anything like that. And you can paste that onto your website and what it will do is it will embed this checkout process right on your website. So you can advertise the event and then someone could see that and then immediately purchase tickets uh, 
through promo ticks, but without ever leaving your website. And then the next section we have here is ad tracking. So right now we support Facebook pixels, Google AdWords, and then also ad roll. So you can paste your pixels in here and then we'll be firing those pixels and tracking all of the uh, conversions that take place. And then the email section, this is where you can customize the confirmation email that's sent to your attendees every time they purchase a ticket. So this is the default text right here, but if you have some unique you know, check-in instructions for, for your event, then you can customize this however you need to. And then the attendees will get the, um, will get the specific and uh, accurate information that they need to check in for the event. So yeah, that does it for the ticketing side of things, setting up the event, managing the orders, managing the check-in. And now what I'll do is I'll jump into our live streaming solution. I'll open this up. So I'll provide some more details on our live streaming solution and, and how it differs a little bit. So what we did was we built our own live streaming solution inside of our app. And the reason why we did that is because we wanted to offer event organizers uh, complete control over the um, viewers that are viewing their live stream. So what that means is our front end validates the tickets before someone is able to access your stream. So just like with a traditional in-person event, you know, people are only able to access the event if they have a ticket. Uh, we built the same exact process virtually. So we have a, a virtual check-in page where attendees um, uh, provide their, their unique codes. And then if it's valid, then we grant them access to watch the stream. So what that means is um, we've eliminated Zoom bombing. We'll never have Zoom bombing if you use this. Um, only people who have had tickets will be able to join. So this is the back end for uh, the live streaming portion. And you can see here we have the uh, place for video. And then we also have a uh, chat feature as well for attendees to ask questions and for you also to be able to respond to them. And up here, you can see how long you've been streaming, the number of virtual tickets that you've sold, current live viewers, total views, as well as the number of people who are engaging in the chat. And then for actually going live, we have two different options. Uh, the first one is start cam, which I'll activate here. And what this does is it just pulls an audio and video source connected to your computer. So it could be as simple as your webcam, or it could be you know, a mixing board that you plug into your computer or an external camera as well, whatever experience you know, you'd like to create. And the second option due to demand is our use OBS integration. So if you're looking to do a more complex live stream with overlays and, and multiple uh, video sources and uh, then you can use OBS for that. We tie in really easily with them and you can control the stream through there. So once you've figured out how you'd like to live stream, just click this go live button. So now I'm streaming and I'll show you what the check-in process looks like for the attendees. So here's an email that your attendees uh, would receive. And again, this is customizable with all of their tickets attached. So all your attendees need to do to join the live stream is click the link right there. It takes them back to the same event page that they purchased tickets from. And then we have this view virtual event button that they click. And this is the check-in page right here. So they can either enter their ticket ID that's attached to their ticket, or they can drag and drop their ticket, which I'll show you here. So it verifies the ticket, make sure it's good, and then they can enter the chat.
and here we are. So now I'm viewing the live stream. They have the ability to full screen. Send messages in the chat. And once you're ready to stop broadcasting, you can see here it says I have one live viewer, one chatting. You just click this stop broadcasting button. And you're done. So that's our live stream solution. Again, it's completely secure. Uh, we also have really low latency around the world. Um, and we have different video options as well. If you're looking to do 720p, 1080p, or 4K definition, then our software can handle it. All right. So that does it for the live streaming. And now I'll jump into the marketing tools that we have. So the first one here, this is our registration pages tool. And I'll show you an example of what one of these pages look like. So here it is. And what this does is this is great if you've launched your event, but tickets aren't on sale yet. You know, let's say you've announced your event, but you're planning for tickets to go on sale in two weeks or something like that. That's a great opportunity to launch one of these uh, registration pages. They're pre-sale registration pages. So your attendees will go to this page, they'll register and they'll get notified once tickets are, go on sale. So if you collect a lot of registrations through this page, then immediately once tickets go on sale, you have all that data that you've collected for marketing. And we send an automated email out to everyone who purchased tickets. So everyone goes at the same time on day one to purchase. And what we also do is we gamify it. So we ask you to offer up a prize. Um, you can see here on this page, I've got a, a meet and greet. Uh, it could be merchandise, you know, a, a swag bag, really whatever you want to offer. And the people who register we give them different activities to complete to earn points. So it's like a game and whoever earns the most points wins that prize. And you can also offer uh, multiple prizes as well for maybe you know the top 10 or the, the top 25 uh, point earners. So I'll quickly register here. Um, we have the ability to register with Spotify to earn some points. Uh, that's great for anyone that's hosting music events. I'll get into uh, the reason behind that a little bit later. But for right now, I'll just register with my email and my phone number. Oh, I can see I already registered using that email. Let me use a different one. There we go. So the first activities they can do is to share the registration page on Facebook and Twitter, let their friends know about it. And then we also generate unique referral links for each person that registers. So this is you know, my referral link right here. I can share that out in a text and an email. We have different options here. They can send it via Facebook Messenger, via Twitter DM. Uh, also, if they're registering on a mobile device, we have the ability to uh, send it out via WhatsApp and text message. And this is what really helps the page go viral because the registrants are incentivized to get their friends and other people to register as well to earn points. So it really helps the event go viral. And then as an extra bonus, we also offer points for liking and following your different social media pages. So you can connect these links to the page and then people can earn five points each for following your different pages. So just another way to grow your social media following as well. And then once they register, we give them a, a scorecard. So it says, you know, hey, you have this many points. And then we show them the activities that they've completed. If they got any of their friends to register, then we list out the names as well, uh, plus 10 points. 
So that's the process for registering. And then on the back end, you can see in this table down here, this is the, the back end for the page. So all the insights, you can see everyone that's registered, they're automatically ranked by how many points they have. So you can see who your winner is. And then we're also showing you how many shares um, that have taken place, how many follows. And then you can see here, we also have these dollar amounts. So what we do is even once the page is closed, once your tickets go on sale and we send out that email blast, we take a look at the orders that start coming in and we track and match those orders to people who registered beforehand on your page. So we actually show you the ROI. So you can see your success rate is how many people who registered actually converted and purchased tickets. And then we show you the value of tickets purchased from your registrants. It's a really great tool there. Now I'll move on to custom branded mobile apps. So what this tool allows you to do is to create your very own custom branded white labeled mobile app on the app stores. And it takes about 30 minutes to set up. Uh, we have two different options here. We have a single event app. So that's if you know, you're hosting a large event typically with a schedule of performers. You know, it could be a, a music festival. It could be a business conference with different speakers. So that's what the single event app is for. And then we also have a multi-event option. So that would be uh, typically if you want to create your own app for your organization as a whole, and you want to advertise multiple events within that app, then you would go with the uh, multi-event option. And I'll show you what each of these look like. I've got a single event set up, a single event app, excuse me, set up here. Uh, it's a seven step process for the single event apps to set up. The first step is all the basic information about your app that the app stores require. Step two, marketing. This is where you put in your uh, background image. You can also put in a video there that will loop continuously instead if you'd like to do that. A hashtag, different social media links, a link to your blog if you'd like your blog post to stream inside of your app. Stages here, this could be you know breakout rooms, different, different areas that your uh, performers or speakers will be giving their presentations or performances. And then the schedule, I have a very, very strange uh, music festival line up here. Uh, but of course, you know, you would put your, your performers here and list them out, assign them to stages and also assign performance times. So everyone who download, downloads your app can see when everything is taking place, the schedule of the event. And they can also build their own personal schedule if there's any conflicts, they can kind of build out exactly you know, where they want to go to and who they want to see over the course of the event. Maps here, if um, you need to you know, include a visual for you know, how people get to the event or you know, the different areas that you have, you can upload as many maps as you need here. Different forms, so you can list forms here that people can fill out after downloading your app. And we notify you via email of those um, once people have submitted them. And then step seven is simply preview it. So on this step, you can click through all the different tabs and essentially use your app before you publish it live. You can customize the different colors here, upload your logo, different background images that people will see when they download. And just make sure that it's exactly how you want it to be uh, before you publish. And then once you're happy with it, save and continue. And we immediately uh, submit it to the Apple App Store and the uh, Google Play Store for review. And then once it becomes live, then you have your very own mobile app on the App Stores.
So once you've submitted it, of course, people download it, they can start using it. And then um, one really valuable thing is you can send out push notifications through our platform to everyone who's downloaded. And you can also create special offers as well. So if you want to create an exclusive, um, you know, 10% off discount or a certain prize or something like that, then you can uh, publish those offers to the app. And then you can also send out push notifications to notify everyone about those offers or simply that, you know, you have a new event um, that's available, tickets have gone on sale, different things like that. Oh, and I'll show you the difference for the multi-event app. So this is a multi-event app right here. And instead of listing the schedule out, instead we have the uh, different individual events along with the buy tickets button. So that's the difference there. Yeah, really awesome marketing tool there. Moving ambassador. on to ambassador programs. So what an ambassador program is, is it allows you to uh, recruit influencers, street team members or ambassadors and incentivize them for helping promote your event or events for you. So I'll, I'll create one very quickly here and uh, kind of talk you through the different tools that we have, the different features. So step one is you select an event that you'd like to promote. And then what we do is we pull all of your ticket types and you can offer a commission to your ambassadors for helping you sell tickets. We have our own mobile app for them. It's called the Promo Juice Ambassador mobile app. And that's where they log in and manage all of their different promotional activities. So you can add a commission here and then the ambassadors can log into that app. They can sell tickets using a POS system that we have right inside the app. And then any uh, tickets that are sold, any commissions they earned, we automatically handle the payouts via direct deposit to their bank account. So you don't have to worry about paying out your ambassadors. And then for details, you can upload an image for the ambassador program. You can add a description. A Facebook group. If you'd like to, um, you can set when the program will end. And then you can also create a code to make it really easy for your ambassadors to find the program and join it and get started. So this could be something like that. So when ambassadors download the app, they plug in that code and they can immediately request to join. And then you can set here where the event is taking place. And you can set a radius here. And what that does is it automates the recruitment of your ambassadors. So I've done, you know, I put in an address and a radius here. And then any ambassadors in our network who log into our ambassador app if they're within this radius, then they're going to see your program and then they can request to join it as well. So it helps you find new ambassadors that maybe you know, aren't in your network that are in our network that can join and promote your events for you. Oops. There we go. So that's the detail screen. And then social promo, these are social media tasks that you can create. So for example, this could be share the event five times on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. So what ambassadors can do is they can share your, your different social media posts directly through their app. Uh, we have the ability to create different templates so they can pull up a template and then immediately share it to one of their social media accounts directly through the app. And then street promo, this is for physical 
uh, street promotional tasks. So typically handing out poster, uh, excuse me, flyers or hanging up posters, those types of activities, you can create those types of tasks here. So this could be hang up um, five posters for the event. So ambassadors, they'll hang up a poster, they'll take a picture of it using the app, and then they'll upload it straight to the app to track it. And then finally, the awards, the incentives, uh, the additional incentives besides commission that you want to offer. So this could be free ticket to the event. You can limit how many times ambassadors can earn the award. And then you assign tasks to that award that you want your ambassadors to complete. So for this, I'll say that they have to share the event five times on social media and they have to hang up five posters for the event. And since it's a free ticket, we pull all the different ticket types from your event and you can select one, input the quantity, and then when ambassadors have done the work to earn the award and you approve it, then we immediately generate the ticket and send it straight to their email. And I'll publish it. So here is the back end. You can track the sales, the number of social media posts, the photos that have been uploaded. Recruit ambassadors here from our network. You can see the ambassadors that have joined your team and then track all of the different uh, promotional activities that have been taking place. One thing that's cool is that the photos that your ambassadors upload, if they're you know hanging up posters, then what we do is we pull the GPS coordinates for each of those photos, and we actually track the locations on a map. So you can see exactly where those street promotional tasks are taking place. So that's ambassador programs. A couple more tabs here. We have app integrations. So the different integrations that we have, uh, different accounts that you can connect. You can add all of those here. And then insights, we have a couple tabs here. Uh, the first one is opportunities. So this is where our AI comes into play. We, um, we take a look at the activity that's going on in your account. And then if we see any opportunities for you to sell additional tickets, then we'll list them out right here. So this could be, you know, hey, we saw that you published an event, but tickets aren't on sale, launch a registration page. Or, hey, you haven't sent out push notifications on your mobile app in 30 days, click here to send out notifications. So different things like that to help you use all of the tools and sell the most tickets as possible. Customer insights right here. This, what this does is it shows you additional insights about all of your customers across all of your events. So as opposed to your reports on each of your events, which only shows you data um, for that event only, this will show you insights across all of your events. So this will show you all of your customers and it will tell you their lifetime ticket spend, their average ticket spend, the number of events that they've attended. You can see your very first customer ever, your most recent customer. So we can kind of you know, give you additional insights over you know, how much people are looking to pay and how many events that they attend, things like that. And then performer insights, this is specifically for music event creators. I showed you previously, there's, uh, we have an integration with Spotify where we pull um, your, uh, where we connect your registrants Spotify accounts. And what we do with that is we pull the artists that they're listening to and also the artists that they're following. So this is really valuable if you host music events. We pull all of that data and we show you uh, which artists most of your ticket buyers are engaging with. And we rank those artists based on that. So you can see here, you know, the top artists that people are listening to and following. And this really helps uh, music event creators book artists that 
you know, have the highest likelihood of uh, uh, being successful. And yeah, so I think that um, is a little taste of everything. So I think we're about 40 minutes uh, through here. And at this point, I'll open it up to questions. And um, yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. Sumalings, if you have any more questions, uh, you can go ahead and submit those now. This is a question that just came in. How do you track merch sales? Got it. So we do have a uh, Shopify integration on our legacy platform. We're actually currently in the process of moving that over. And what that will allow you to do is connect a Shopify store to your Promotix account. And then we pull all the different products from your Shopify store. And then we'll allow you to uh, sell those products in different places throughout the app. So for example, on your event page, when people are purchasing tickets, they can also add a shirt or a hoodie. Um, you can also sell your merchandise during the live stream. We'll have a carousel with all of your products that people can purchase merchandise for, as well as in your custom branded mobile app as well. So right. that's not released at this moment, uh, but we're planning on having that out in the next uh, 30 to 60 days. Awesome. All right. Uh, can you create an app for each event or only one app per account? Good question. You can create a single event app for each of your events. Um, so you can do either. You can have one app that, hosts, that advertises all of your events or a single event app for each one. It really depends on how large the event is and if it really makes sense to have an app for each of your events. It's totally up to you. Um, how long does it take for an app store to approve an app? It varies, but typically about 48 hours. Cool. The max time that you'd have to wait. Um, I warned you this question would come. Is this fully white labeled? Are there any aspects that cannot be white labeled or changed? Right. So the custom branded mobile app that we have, that is white labeled. So that is your company's branding on the app store and within the app. As far as the ticketing side of things go, the event pages that you create, they are hosted on our domain. So we don't have a white labeled option for that right now, uh, but using the embed checkout feature that we have, you can embed that on your website if you do want a custom branded user experience. Amazing. Um, all right, can this be used to provide ticketing and live stream um, for agencies? Could this be a solution for agencies for multiple event organizers? Or if you have clients? Yes, yeah, so when you create a promo ticks account, you're creating one organizer profile here. And uh, here I'll show you the organizer profile. So this is where you put in all of the details about your company. And then all of the different events that you create, they will have that organizer profile attached to it. So if you are the one that's hosting the events for your clients, then you can do that um, through your one account. And then uh, if that doesn't work for you, if all of your clients, they want to have their own profiles attached to their events, then we do have an affiliate program where you can refer others to sign up and create their own events. And then we do an offer incentives for that. Cool. Um, can the live streaming be white labeled? It says, what about live stream branding? Can that be white labeled is the question. Right. So the live streaming portion, um, it does have to take place on our domain. So it can't be white labeled. Uh, and the reason why is because we want to secure the stream and validate all of the tickets. Um, if you do want it to, uh, if you wanted to use your own streaming service or a different service, you can use that unsecured streaming option. And then you, you can stream using whatever service you want to use. Cool. Um, you guys don't take a ticketing fee, but Stripe still takes a percentage, correct? That is correct. So the Stripe credit card processing fee is 2.9% plus 30 cents. Um, so there's no way we can get around, uh, 
we can get around that. Stripe does charge that fee. But for in-person events, we don't charge anything additional for the services that we provide, creating the event pages, hosting the tickets, managing the orders, all of that. Awesome. Um, can team members be added to the account to see sales on specific events, events, but not others and not the admin details? Right. So currently we support a single user login for managing your Promotix account. And we are working on offering the ability to create staff accounts for your, for your team. So what that will allow you to do is invite other email addresses to have limited permissions on what they can see and what they can do within your account. So that is in our roadmap and we're expecting that within the next uh, 60 days, I believe. Awesome. What else can you tell us about the roadmap? Somebody asked specifically, about upselling, um, what can you tell us about what's coming up and what Sumo Langs have to look forward to? Yeah, I mean, right off the top of my head, we don't have a public roadmap right now. Um, we are um, working on uh, releasing that in early 2021, but some of the things off the top of my head, um, offering the integration with authorized.net, so an additional credit card processor besides Stripe. Uh, we're working on a MailChimp integration a WordPress plugin, uh, the ability to create reserved seating for your events. So if you have a specific seating map with rows and uh, seat numbers, then you'll be able to create that. So when attendees are purchasing tickets, they can see on a, on a map and, and pick a seat. Um, so those are just a couple of things. And again, when we release our uh, public roadmap, all of you will be able to see everything that we're working on. Wonderful. All right, Sumo Langs, if you have any more questions, you can put them in the Q&A box now. Otherwise, we've gotten through them all. We can wrap this up. I'm just going to stall for just a second, see if there's anything in the chat that we can answer. Um, all right. Not seeing anything. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, I did this on the last webinar and two questions came in as I did it. So we'll see what happens. Um, <laughs> thank you so much, Sumo Links, for joining us today. If you have not already, you can redeem your codes at appsumo.com slash promotix. Again, this is available for $69 uh, as a lifetime deal. And of course, it's backed by AppSumo's 60-day uh, guarantee. So you can go ahead and get set up, play around with it, see how it works for you. And once you've done that, we do love to read your reviews on the deal page. So leave those there as well as any questions that still have not been answered. All right. Thank you so much, Sebastian. Thank you, Will and Amanda for hanging out, answering questions. Uh, I hope y'all have a good one. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate it. Awesome. Keep the wow. questions coming. Of course. They, I'm sure they won't stop. <laughs> have a good one. Bye-bye.